Recording in progress. Good evening. My name is Wahid Lutfi. Welcome to my Web University free educational videos. And this is my YouTube channel. You're welcome to um, watch the videos and learn from it. And um, add some comments and make some notes or some kind of um, suggestion for um, whatever I can do to improve um, for your needs. I'll do that and just uh, make some suggestion what you need. Uh, and I'll just uh, make videos for those uh, areas that you need help on it. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's just get started. Today's topic, we're going to discuss um, C++ programming. In particular, uh, we're going to discuss the forest statement in C++. So what you see is a, a VI editorial or VEM editorial in this case. And the program name is uh, for demo.c++. This is one of the third examples that I'm going to, um, one of the three examples that I'm going to uh, demonstrate today. But um, before I do that one, let me just uh, show you some of the programs that I have here for you on, on, on today's topic. So if I just uh, clear my screen and I run ls minus ld star.c++, we have a number of them. But if I want to just look at only the last three, tail minus three, uh, tail minus three would give me the last three. So those are uh, the one that uh, I would be um, doing it, except um, for tonight, I need to do a less minus LTR, which shows the last uh, files um, that I have uh, recently modified, not these three. As you can see, the timestamp of these ones are just uh, this timestamp that I did it just a few minutes ago. So these ones I'm going to discuss. And in order to do that one, let's just uh, get started with the first one. In this case, I'm going to start with event, uh, event or odd in lowercase. As you can see in uh, Linux, you can just uh, name the same file with two different um, kind of uh, uppercase and lowercase. Uh, naming, and then you could still understand that those two files are two different files. They're not the same. Uh, so uh, case sensitivity matters in uh, Linux and Unix and Mac. So at this time, Mac is actually helping you that, that everything gets converted for you. You don't have to do it. But when you're inside the Unix, like Mac uh, OS X, um, you're using command line, the syntax uh, of case sensitivity matters, like uh, Linux and even, uh, Unix, Solaris kind of uh, platforms. So uh, at this time, I have a, a program in C++ that has uh, 25 lines. Line one through uh, seven has the comment section. It's a multi-line um, comment section that is start with slash asterisk and ends with asterisk slash on line seven. And in between anything that you write, it's uh, commented and it's ignored by the compiler of uh, C++ and, and G++. So at this time, line nine, it has the include IO stream, input output stream, which we are including it in order to understand it um, uh, and use all these other functions that are um, supported inside IO stream uh, header file. So the line 11, we're using using namespace uh, standard standard uh, for the scope resolution of C out and N line. Uh, in this case, otherwise we have to put uh, std colon colon in front of C out on N line wherever we are using it. So if you're using uh, using names uh, std, then you can just uh, shorten the C out. For clarity, I made it like this, but some other example, I may have to just uh, do std colon colon uh, C out the scope resolution. Line 13 has a, the, define a constant int max with a value of 10. So within the for statement, I wanna uh, go between zero to 10 or uh, nine being the last one. And then uh, just check for every um, um, number and whether uh, the module is um, uh, divided by two is uh, module uh, remainder is equal zero or not. If it is equal zero, then I have found the even number. Otherwise I have found the odd number. 
and that's within the FAR statement that FAL statement does it, and line uh, 19 through uh, 22. And then the last statement is the return function uh, calls, uh, the, which uh, is going to return successful upon uh, finish. And um, that's on line uh, 15, int main, uh, int uh, meaning that return the value of integer. So return zero is going to return successful if the program does not fail, otherwise return fail uh, as a uh, non-negative uh, number, a non-zero number. So at this time, I'm going to just um, exit out of this one. And then I'm going to um, clear my screen. And then I say cat minus n event or odd dot C++. So as you can see, the same uh, 25 lines are uh, shown here. I don't have a binary code uh, uh, at this time unless I have compiled it bef before. So I'm going to say G++, and then I'm going to just compile it with G++ minus O as output and event underscore odd underscore um, uh, or odd, and then the name of the source file, event and or odd, event or odd dot C++. And now I just got the file event or odd star, the, the two of those files. One is the source code and the other one is the uh, executable. So if I say file event or odd, you can see that two files, the one uh, that is ELF, that's executable link format. That's why in uh, Linux it's color coded with um, this. So it is going to show uh, in that format. At this time, I'm going to just um, uh, run it and say, uh, go ahead, uh, execute it on um, uh, event or odd. And it's going to show between 0 to 9, the same program um, in a very nice format, 0 being even, 1 is being odd, and so on, until 9 and 8. As uh, you can see, 8 is even, and then 9 is uh, odd. So that program, it actually finished. Let's just do the next one. We're going to do the same program, but a different um, uh, uh, file. So clear my screen. Again, if I do ls minus ltr star dot um, c plus plus, and then do a tail minus uh, four or minus three, there are those three. But if I just not do ls minus ltr and I do asterisk and I do a tail minus four, and then I just get the uh, uh, event or odd as executable file as well. So at this time, I'm going to do the next one, which is um, for the file uh, that are um, executable uh, for uh, e uh, an uppercase. So instead of doing this uh, minus four, let's do a tail minus um, nine, and just to get a little bit more. So we have the event or odd.c++. This time I'm gonna do vem on event or uh, odd in uh, uppercase files. And then this is going to uh, open it. The difference between the uh, this file and the previous one, this one is the max is 100. So it is doing a larger number than zero. You can just put it 1000 or 1 million, that doesn't matter. It's gonna just go through all of them. And uh, in fact, we could try it. And the other difference is that notice that I'm not using uh, using namespace std, and instead I'm just defining std scope resolution in front of cout, and also in front of the inline, with the std colon colon uh, as a scope resolution, for both line 18 and uh, line 20, and uh, so I can print even number and odd numbers. So this, this is going to just do the same thing, except I'm not using the using namespace. And then um, and the um, cout, I mentioned it, std is used. Let's just um, save it. And then since I saved that file name and the file name is event or odd.c++, as you can see, if I say file event or um, odd.c++, this file is a, a C source code. Uh, it says that it doesn't say C++ because I, does, I don't have the um, name uh, using namespace standard. And by default, if uh, I just do the same thing for 
um, event or um, odd dot C++, this one says a C++ source code. And the reason is because a grep minus I on the uh, namespace, namespace star dot C++, these files that are using uh, C++ uh, using namespace, if I say anything for like file uh, date dot C++, this is going to say C++ source code. Similarly for uh, deduplication, similarly for um, these other ones. So let's get uh, to uh, compile this file. I'm going to do a clear screen. The first thing we did was uh, say that this was a C++ source code, but we are doing the second one, um, which is this one. And then uh, it doesn't matter if it says C, um, the extension is C++, but the syntax of C out and all of that one, we know that it's C++ code. So um, this is just Linux uh, identifying it as C. Um, it is not accurate though. So we are going to do a G++ minus O event or odd. Uh, and then that's the executable name file. And then we are going to give the name of the source, which is uh, event or odd, even or odd dot C++. And now we have created that event or um, odd um, a program. And then if I do a file on this one, event or even or odd, even or odd, and then it says that uh, even or odd is executable link format. Uh, binary, so I can uh, run it, say even or odd, and it will just print between uh, 0 to uh, 99. Uh, and then if I just move up here, you can see all the numbers starting from 0, 1, and 2, and everything else is uh, printed here accurately. So that was the uh, next one. Now the next uh, example, I'm going to clear the screen is uh, for demo.c++. So if I just say cut um, for demo.c++, this is also, uh, if I do a word count minus L for a demo.c++, you can see it's 26 lines. And I can also do a cut minus N for demo.c++. That would show the 26 lines in there. So I'm going to uh, vem on that one for a demo.c++. And then you can see that this program is similar to other ones, except I'm having on line 13 and 14, two constant. The two constant, one is the max and the other one is start. So if I want to start at 900, then inside my for statement, I could say 1000 minus 100 is going to give me 900. So max minus start in this case is going to give 900. Then I go all the way to um, uh, the last number, 1,999. And then uh, this time I'm going to increment it by five. So I don't have to go by one. Uh, this um, three expression and that are inside the for statement, you have um, a declaration of uh, the data type that you're de defining as integer by default. And so I is max. Uh, is that uh, you can start with zero, you can start with any range, but then um, a max minus a start would be like 900. Then I less than max is uh, less than 1000. Then uh, we're going to have three expression between these uh, semicolons. And the first one is this expression. Then the second one is this I is less than max. That this condition or expression has to be a Boolean expression, has to match. And then the last uh, expression is uh, increment or decrement for the for loop. So you could just make sure that at some point the for loop finishes. It doesn't go infinite uh, in that condition. Uh, aside from the while loop, the for loop has these three expression and then the expression is going to check for those condition. This last condition, Boolean expression will match uh, the condition of the for statement, so it will exit out of the for statement when that becomes um, false. In this case, I'm going to do an FS statement again, and then check the, those numbers, and then return the successful. 
value. So we're going to do um, compile it uh, again. So let's do clear screen and then say cat minus n for demo dot C plus plus. And then this time I'm going to say G plus plus minus O for demo and then for demo dot C plus plus. That's the executable. And then now I have created for demo uh, one is dot uh, C plus plus. Let me just uh, do uh, this screen one more time. This and then say G plus plus minus O for demo and for for demo dot C plus plus. So we compile it echo dollar sign question mark, meaning it's successfully finished. LS minus LD for demo star will just give me the two names. And if I just don't do um, um, LS, I could get it like this. And I know that one of them is executable file for a demo star. You can see that the, the first one is for demo is executable dot C plus plus is the source code and C plus plus and there. And as you can see, because I'm using the using namespace on line 11, it uh, identified the file name as C++ source code. So at this time, if I run the for demo, you will see that the numbers start from 900, jump into 905, 910, and so on, up to 995. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you like it and um, learn something from it. And please make some comments so I can improve it based on your needs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. God bless you. Have fun. And uh, don't forget to watch the World Cup. It's getting more fun now. Uh, pause uh, recording.